to understand cybersecurity, we really need to understand our history of compute. Here we're drawing out roll and scroll or green screens, what we call them, that would be connected to big iron. This is back pre-1980s. Uh, very easy to secure, all encapsulated within a site. So you needed physical access in order to compromise this data. Not that it was impossible, but it was a little more difficult than it is today. Of course, then we had geographically dispersed sites like Site B drawing up here, and we'd have to get data back and forth between that. And in general, it was a very manual process to move that data. In fact, we used something called sneaker net, which basically meant we're going to capture that data and carry it from Site A to Site B in a secure fashion. Um, so that was kind of pre-1980s, 80s. In the 90s, we started seeing the replacement of the roll and scroll with newer monitors, right? More Windows-based technology. And the x86 really came into its full life there, starting to replace and eat away at the big iron. We also took an added network capabilities in between sites. Now, this was still very restricted between sites and it had limited remote access, but we could move the data between site A and site B in very controlled scenarios. And we would stand up these RAS servers for remote access, but very, very limited. We move into the 2000s here and we start to see quite a bit of change within our environments. One of the biggest changes, the remote worker, mobile and remote workers started coming up. And of course, cloud in a very limited sense, but cloud started coming. And with that, the introduction of cybercrime. Now, cybercrime has been around for a while, but really now that we've spread out our data to cloud into multiple areas, we have it. And then we introduced and, and started really using what we call controls and baselines to tell us what it is and how we should secure. And then now into the current day and beyond, let's take a look. Those roll and scroll screens are all but gone in most environments. We've introduced new technologies like wireless, for example, and of course, mobility. All of these are new environments that add new risk to our environments. Of course, we still have access controls and we still have cyber attacks. So why? Because it's increased because the amount of data that's available now is huge, right? From our homes, we're accessing the internet putting data up there, financial data and personal information. Our mobile devices are everywhere. And so we have attacks happening in our homes, mobile devices, cloud, IOT, site B, all of these things are all great targets for cybercrime. And that data is spread out throughout the entire environment.